Within 50 days, the water began to recede. The water began to go down. Noah and his family could not come out of the boat. After many, many days, the Bible says, Noah sent out a raven. He wanted to see if there were any trees around. And the raven flew away and did not come back, which means the raven would have found a tree to nest. After a few days, Noah sent out a dove. And the dove, went. it found a tree, plucked off a branch from the tree and came back to Noah with the branch of a tree. Now Noah knew that the water is going down further. After many more days, the, the boat rested on, some, on a huge mountain called Ararat. But it was still not yet dry enough for Noah and his family to come out of the boat. After one year and one month, Noah and his family came out of the boat because at last the land was dry. Just imagine, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The water stayed high as ever for 150 days. And after one year and one month, Noah and his family came happily out of the boat because it was time for them to start living on the earth again. After Noah and his family, all the animals came out of the boat. Two by two. Oh, they were so happy to be back on the earth again. They were so happy to be able to run around and play. For one year and one month, they had been locked up inside the boat, safe, but I don't think very comfortable. Noah was a thankful man and he wanted to say thank you to God. The Bible tells us that he built an altar with his sons and their wives and his own wife. Noah built an altar and he made a sacrifice. He made a sacrifice and said, God, thank you for saving my life. Thank you for saving the lives of my children and my wife. God, I just want to thank you that I, have, I want to be obedient to you. And because I am obedient, you have saved my life. The Bible says when God saw all these people worshipping, God said, these are my people. This is my earth. I love these people. And the Bible says that God made a decision that he would never send a flood like that to the earth again. And in order to remember that decision, God put a rainbow in the sky so that every time he sees the rainbow, he remembers Noah and he remembers that there are many wicked people on this earth, but there are many good people as well. And because of the good people, God will never destroy this earth with a flood. Where do you stand today? Are you the good one? Are you the one who obeys God, who loves God? Or are you just like anyone else? You know, abusing, lying, stealing, fighting, quarreling. Or would you rather be like Noah? So that when God looks at the rainbow, he says, there are some good people on the earth. And because of these good people, I will never destroy the earth again with a flood. God is looking down at you. How do you live? Do you live obeying God and trusting him? The Bible says that we learn to trust God and obey him by reading God's word and doing what it says. So if you want to be like Noah, then you need to read the Bible because the Bible will teach you how to live to be pleasing to God so that God will never destroy this earth with a flood again. While watching this program, maybe a question has come to your mind. Maybe you have a need for prayer. I would like you to call me so that I can pray for you or answer your questions. My number is on the screen. It is a very easy number. It is 9833 I will repeat that. 
9833772626 or you can write to me by email my email address is ticket to heaven at readifmail.com ticket the number 2 heaven at readifmail.com i would love to hear from you either by phone or by email to help you to understand god's word more so that you can live to please god god bless you